Welcome to Ginkgo, the world's only tree-based word processor. In less than five minutes, I'm going to show you how you can use Ginkgo to write better, faster. The examples I'm going to use are a screenplay and an academic paper, but Ginkgo can be used for anything from novels to reports to group study notes. The key to Ginkgo is that you write in cards, and that each card can have one or more children. These children are a way of expanding on whatever the parent is. So here we have the plot summary and here we have act summaries and the act summaries branch further into detailed scenes. The same is true when we're writing an academic paper. What this helps you do is always know where you are in the document. You can always see the big picture and the details and while you're working on the details you can see what you need to write, what comes next and where you are in the overall scheme of things. That means you're never lost and your writing can flow easily. It's important to note that there is no wrong way of using Ginkgo. Here we have the same paper written with a different process, where instead of branching out from the abstract, we have all of the sections present and we simply expand on them by adding more and more text. So for instance, here we have this result written in 111 words, here we have it written in 207 words, and here the full text in 330 words. This is also known as the snowflake method, usually used for novel writing. So with that bit of theory out of the way, let's get to writing our own tree. I'm going to write all of the sections of my paper here on the left column and expand on them step by step. So here's the abstract and it's control down to make a new card. Here's the introduction, control down again, so, and control enter to save. I can navigate with the arrow keys and to add a child, control right. Control down again, and so on. I can always rearrange the document by dragging and dropping. And you'll see that all children cards move as well. This is very helpful for larger documents where you want to change the flow of information. So if I want to go further still into this section, so clearly I'm just typing whatever, but the important thing is that you don't simply use titles. If you were to use only titles and say introduction, methods and approach, results, and so on, you don't get the benefit of Ginkgo. You're basically using it as an outliner. The benefit of Ginkgo comes in when you use it not just to structure your document, but also to put the content in as well. What this does is lets you focus on structure and content at the same time. So this should be enough to give you a sense of how, how Ginkgo works. So again, control right to add children, control enter to save, control down to add cards down below, drag and drop by just dragging and dropping. <laughs> you can also even move things as you can see from one section to another, or let's say this one should actually be a child of this. You can drag it on and it becomes a child of Monte Carlo, for instance. So that's just a quick intro of how to use Ginkgo. We're in still early beta, as you can probably tell from the quality of this video. So if you have any questions, comments, just get in touch with me at adriano at ginkgoapp.com or at Twitter at ginkgoapp. And uh, there are many more features that I haven't touched on. So the search function, There's also the very important collaboration features. So if you enable collaboration, you send this link to someone and they can work on the tree in real time with you. So I hope this helps you get started with Ginkgo and I'll see you in the next video.